Today is going to be a great day. I am Nikki G, your host. Welcome to The Lone Doctrine, the food for thought exploration station, and your place in making today better than yesterday. If you're just tuning in with us, welcome. In the past few months, we've had a lot of new listeners come into our community, and we couldn't be more grateful. I believe if you're hearing this right now, it's for a reason. Here at The Lone Doctrine, we explore food for thought that will keep you on the right track and allow you to have the guidance to find what works for you. A candid moment. Although I've been very interested and somewhat fascinated with what makes us humans tick, I've also gone through a lot in my own life and found myself over and over again at a roadblock. I actually started this podcast with a mission to provide an open space, to share my explorations because I too work on the well-being of my mind each and every day. If that's a new concept, it's even more clear why you've been led to this podcast because feeding your mind right is just as important as feeding your body right. You are not alone and a sincere welcome from us to you. Thank you for being here. All right, back to the topic at hand. This week's, nope, this month's topic is honesty. I bring honesty up a lot because it's at the very foundation of most things. Everything eventually leads back to the truth, or as the quote says, the first step towards greatness is to be honest. We spend so much time seeking honesty. We want honest relationships. We want our friends to be honest. When things go wrong, all we want is the truth. We spend so much time teaching our children to be honest. But then as life goes on, we found ourselves in a hard place, seeking change, seeking betterment. We usually find that we're the ones being dishonest, dishonest with ourselves. Being dishonest with ourselves can be painful. In fact, sometimes it can lead to health problems. Have you ever heard the statement, stress is a killer? In most societies, we're expected to be fine all the time. If we're not, we're sometimes perceived as weak or not able. This concept is so against our entire being of human beings. Who are what are we if we don't experience all of the emotions? The dangerous part of being expected to be just fine is that we suppress, we ignore, and we continually lie to ourselves. This can lead to all kinds of chaos, not just emotionally. Stress, sadness, anger, release hormones that can actually harm your body. Of course, the hormone cortisone is released when we're in a stressful situation, but we don't always need as much as life puts us through. We need the cortisone to survive, not to get through the chaos of a day, to the high pace, to the never ending, this, that, up, down, sideways, what? What? The fact of the matter is being honest with ourselves is a requirement to lead a path towards happiness and success. You might be thinking, I know plenty of people who fake it till they make it and they've made it, but what percentage of those people who have quote unquote, made it, are actually healthy and at peace, or what we sometimes refer to as happy. How many end up using drugs or alcohol, even though they seem to have every wish or desire imaginable? How many are truly unhappy? How many, although living the high life, are actually living the low life internally? So here's the question. Do you want to improve your life? If so, keep listening for some food for thought. Most of us are good at ignoring the bad, making excuses, and justifying why it can wait. Sometimes it's easier. But the path of least resistance will send you on a never-ending merry-go-round. Have you ever had a small problem grow into a bigger problem because it wasn't properly addressed or it was ignored? Here's some ideas on where to start. It's time to be honest with yourself because you're worth it. Try this. Before bed, take a moment, even if it's just a minute, to reflect on your day. 
How was your day? Have you ever asked yourself what went right, what was good, and what could you have done better? The goal is to always improve, even if it's just one step at a time. The point in reviewing your day isn't to become your worst critic, but more to give yourself constructive feedback on how you can make tomorrow even better. Here's another idea. Admit when you make a mistake. A friend of mine refers this as eating crow. It's one of those weird U.S. sayings that basically means when you make a mistake and are forced to acknowledge it, humbly. I believe it has something to do with crow's meat being repulsive and being proven wrong, being so hard to swallow as it would be very difficult to eat crow's meat. Gross. We could probably make a whole episode about weird sayings. Anyways, oftentimes when we make a mistake, we try to get out of it. We blame something or someone else, or we try to just flat out ignore it. If you find yourself in this position more often than not, there's an amazing amount of growth, self-esteem, and peace of mind when we can become honest about our mistakes and shortcomings. When we admit to our mistakes, we then open the door of opportunity to learn and grow, but if we don't, we're doomed to repeat and have the lesson repeat itself in the future. And one more for today. Because here, we like to keep it short and simple because we know all y'all are busy, busy, busy bees. Sometimes, it can be overwhelming when we're seeking change or change has landed right on our front door. Sometimes, we can be really hard on ourselves and end up overanalyzing most everything when we're trying to improve our life. When something doesn't work, we get down. When we make the same mistake, we feel frustrated, guilt-ridden, and sometimes just want to give up. Being honest with yourself isn't about being constantly down on yourself. It's having a safe place, a relationship that is unconditional and just sometimes matter-of-fact. It doesn't need to be a diatribe of content that you tell yourself every day. Just a simple recognition and awareness that will support you in putting your best self forward. Honesty takes practice. So I highly encourage you to try some or all of these things to help you get started. Be kind to yourself and give yourself the time to find that new communication with yourself. It's not a quick fix and it's ever changing, but life is change. So embrace the opportunity and make today Better than yesterday. Speaking of making today for the Lone Doctrine better than yesterday, we hope you'll consider signing up with Patreon. Let us tell you all about it. If you found value in the Lone Doctrine, we would be so grateful for your support. We've partnered up with Patreon, which is a place where you can help us stay on air and keep our doors open in supporting our listeners in making today better than yesterday. Thank you so much for your consideration, your support, and a special thank you to our current Patreons who make the Lone Doctrine possible. We hope to see you at patreon.com slash Lone Doctrine, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash Lone Doctrine. If you're someone that likes helping others, we'd love for you to share this episode or our podcast. We hope to keep building a community that can explore all kinds of food for thought life has to offer and continue to lift each other up because together we are better. Thank you, thank you for your consideration in supporting the Lone Doctrine at patreon.com slash Lone Doctrine and an awesome extra thank you to our current Patreons and in all honesty, we love you and keep fighting the good fight. Yeah.